Yep. I I even opened it and I didn't even like I I picked up one thing from the treasure chest. I'm like that's good. That's all I need. You played the uh the original uh the original wasteland? I I got I I never really played it. I picked up Wasteland on the Interplay 10th anniversary CD, which I still have. <laughs> All right, well, that opened something. Uh, it looks like it opened something up here. The Interplay 10th anniversary CD had some good stuff on it. And you died from a disease. From having sex with a three boob lady. What? Wasteland is a, a weird game. Hey Braxton, how's it going? Welcome, welcome to this game. How are, how are you doing Braxton? How did Enderol go? And Floppy, how's it going? We got, uh, can you have a, can you have a coffee? Sure. Sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm very distracted today by this game. Anybody that I missed, say something and I'll say hi. <laughs> but I hope you're all doing good. Ow. Just good. I just got thumped in the face by, what? Oh, what happened? Why'd you have to give up on a quest? Hey, wolf. Did the quest break or something? I totally, I totally understand that feeling, Talesha. Wait, what? Where am I? Ow! Oh, what is happening? Oh. Friggin... Friggin jesters. No, it's a... It's a German RPG. Which is pretty good. I highly recommend it, and it's free. As long as you own Skyrim. Really? It's just like all fine and then just just at the end it's just super overpowered monsters. That's weird. I guess you could yeah, you could come back to it later. I was afraid like the quest bugged out or something. It's it's the worst enemy. It is the worst enemy. Anyways, uh what are these? That's a healthy looking tree. We got some healthy looking trees here. Yeah, definitely get stronger and and come back to it later. What the hell? Hey, what's up? Welcome to the heart of sanctuary. Welcome to the heart of sanctuary. A moment ago you were a tree. And before that, a stone, a stream... No, it's itself. fine, Graf. It's fine. I'm just talking to a tree and guy. the greatest of skills could have brought you this far. We have the Council of Clay. Now it's fine. These guys are friendly. It yeah, it's the a dollar store Alan Rickman. Speak to us. The evil of the warlord disturbs the very ground. The air weeps. The Warlord takes his power as a gift from the Dark God. 
It is a piece of pure evil that the warlord keeps. The pure dark evil. Flag. Where? That I must know. Where is the dark flag? It lies safely kept in the warlord's stronghold. Stronghold. Wild into desolation. In this terrible time, why have you sought us out? I know the words, but not what they mean. For sacrifice of clay, the power to bind its parts. You know what they mean, for that which will contain the dark slag. But the sacrifice of clay, that I do not understand. You have but to ask. All right, what's the sacrifice of clay? Humbly, I ask. Grant me the sacrifice of clay. The cause is just, and you are strong. Our sacrifice shall not be in vain. Uh, thanks for your arm. Even though I gather the pieces of a container, how shall I forge them together as one? That guy just Sigurd chopped off his arm for me. Black he is one of the dark dwarves who dwells in the heart of Fire Mountain. Fire Mountain? What is the way to Fire Mountain? It lies straight through the Warlord's stronghold. All right, well, thanks. With what you've told me, I must be on my way. Remember, times such as these require great sacrifice. At the end of your journey, it may be more than you're willing to make. Yeah, these are these are the masters of clay. This guy even chopped off his arm and gave me a bead of immortal clay. Anyways, let's put that in my handy dandy. There we go. My uh my quest box here. Yeah, probably. So there's no getting through there. I guess we're just done here. This is a very weird game. Uh, there is another side that I didn't go to. Yeah, I need an extra arm because I only have one. It just flops around. Alright, well, what's on this side, then? Uh... Uh-oh. Uh, keyhole? I guess I could go down here. I'm missing a key. Oh, there was a portal there to take me... What? So, oh, I guess there's another portal here. Yeah, I mean, it's very creative, and I appreciate it. Um, so what am I missing? I'm missing a key that's somewhere. Also, I don't know what this is, and I don't know how to open it.
Yeah, what am I missing out on? Huh. Look at how many look at how many enemies are in this area. Um Yeah, I'm confused. I'm I'm missing a key. Oh, there it is. It was hidden in my inventory. No, no, I I was just really confused. Okay, there was a there's a key that was like that's why I was dropping <laughs> Dro don't get silent. I was trying to find a key that was in my inventory. That's why I was dropping stuff. I'm like there's got to be a key in here. I must have picked it up. <laughs> I got silent because I was I was busy searching. All right, what do we got in here? The Steel Ripper Spear. Uh, one forty forty damage when thrown. Um. Okay, uh, 40 40 damage is a ridiculous amount of damage. Let's let's try it out. How do you, how do you throw it? Yeah, it's that it is pretty random. I'm trying to trying to throw it and people like they keep like they keep like running up to me so I can't throw it. See? Like they every time I back up to throw it. That seems incredibly good. I'll I'll hold on to that. And a potion of healing, which I will Yep, I will just use these. Alright, I guess that's the end of the dungeon. I guess I've done everything I need to do and I got the I got the clay, so time to just move on. Uh so where are we going? Are we going to Reed Plane or are we going to Gorge Keep? I guess I'm closest to Gorge Keep, so I can just go through there. Also, more slashing. I did find all the dragon things, and I, I got the clay. Uh, they opened the door to the, uh, to the clay master, who gave me a lump of clay. Yeah, that was really great. Uh it's uh I have to I have to make a container to hold the evil the evil slag. Cuz he can't touch it. All right, I guess we're going yeah, we're going to go to Gorge Keep cuz it's right here. Nah. 
Nah. Yeah, there'll just, there'll just be a robot guy. Yeah, it's might magic, whatever. Nah. It's just how might and magic rolls. Sometimes there's just a mad, uh, just a robot guy. Yeah, I love that they call them Iron Wizards. I mean, they've always been Aliens Robot. Like, since the first game, even. That was that was always the, the lore of the game. Yeah, this is uh I don't I don't really like the uh the mist sections a little bit, because it's really, really difficult to navigate. Oh god. I'm just immediately being attacked. Let's save here. Oh my god, there's so many dudes. I've made a huge, I've made a horrible mistake. There's so many guys. I made, I made a horrible mistake. There's so many guys in this room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just... Well, yeah. Well, Warcraft 3 had the Wolf Riders, right? I, I think they, in general, they don't... They actually don't want you to go this direction. This is like... This is like the hard mode option. Because <laughs> you could just go... You could just go through the tree. And, and just go from the top to the other side. And then you could go through the reed plane. Or you could go through here, where it starts you in a room that has 55 enemies in it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just cowering in this little, this little nook over here. Yeah, we're... We're going hard mode here. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting some pretty good uh, weapon experience here. I feel like I should heal, so let's do that. The magic fails. Can you not cast... Is this an... In, this is a giant anti-magic zone. Alright. I uh, did not notice that. Okay, I can heal in this spot though. It's so there's no anti magic here. Yeah, they they did that on purpose to make this room even harder. Like you walk in, there's just uh, like 700 enemies, and if you're a magic user, uh, well, you're not doing any spells and you're not healing. Alright. Can I can I hit the enemies, please? It's true. It, if you you can't really go full spell casting in this game. 
Did I ever play Two Worlds? No, but it is on my viewer pick list. I, I will have to play it eventually when it comes up. <laughs> That, that's going to be an interesting time because that game is uh yeah it's actually possible to end the game early <laughs> yeah you can win the game in like three minutes uh basically you you somehow get all the townspeople to attack him and then he he just loses because of a friendly fire, I guess. Alright, that's my magic XP. Oh look at that. Before you die, dog. Do you come attack me, please? Yeah, they they did they patched it so you can't do that. The unpatched version of that game is definitely, I think, more fun. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, I'm not allowed to strafe in this game. Unless there is a strafe button and I just haven't found it. Before you die, dog! Yeah, the animations are really good. The pixel art's great. It's it's a fun game. I like this. How's it going, Stray? Hey, the Kishwa. You fell in an ant anthill. Oh, God. You were hysterical with bugs. I don't want. I never want to be hysterical with bugs. <laughs> never, never, ever. Okay, let's heal. I think I'm, I'm okay to heal in here. Yeah, the the sequel just seemed kind of kind of dull. I, I played it. Two Worlds 2 got... It did get an expansion, didn't it? I remember that. The is like, very unexpected. I like that enemies can push these floor plates too. Yeah, they're they're janky. They're all right. Hey, remember these guys? The first guys in the entire game. They're still as easy as the first guys in the entire game. Well, yeah, Chaos Strikes Back is, from what I understand, mean. I would like to play the original Dungeon Master sometime. Like, I'd probably use, like, DM, DM Windows or whatever it's called. Return to Chaos. What is, what is the Windows version of, of that game called? Yeah. 
And I I have played a uh, I have played and finished Dungeon Master 2, but I don't like it. <laughs> like <laughs> I played that whole game. I think I can say didn't didn't think it was great. I wanted to like that game. I tried. But no, it's like too many weird. The game feels too weird and unfinished with too many ideas that just they they kind of kind of put in but didn't really finish anything. If that makes sense. Betrayal of Crondor? I'd play it. I played Betrayal of Crondor. Oh yeah, uh, Chaos Strikes Back is like an expansion pack for people who think Dungeon Master is too easy. Oh yeah, obviously Return to Crondor. Like, obviously I can't play the good one. I have to play Betrayal at Antara or something. <laughs> Which I do own. I own all three of them. <laughs> Gog broke the release of it and never fixed it. What? That's, uh, okay. What's wrong with the Gog release? What happened to it? Oh, that's that's so weird. Hey, it's a room full of these guys. I know the uh the god release of um uh oh God, what was it? Uh, the GOG release of Realms of Arcania uh, Star Trail, I think, is broken. If you try to if you try to let it play through the intro, it freezes, and they've never fixed it. It's because it's using like a combination of the English and German release files for some reason, and it's that's for some reason that doesn't work. Like obviously that doesn't work. <laughs> it's extremely cool. I. Oh god, what have I done? I cast a spell and I didn't want to. A final technique. These these graphics are ultimate. Look at this guy's death animation. I I cast the I cast the wrong spell. <laughs> You forgot to buy forks, so all your characters got dysentery. <laughs> that that happens. It's like in RPG combined combined with a uh, combined with Oregon Trail. I think that's it. It's like somebody said, "Hey, what if we take Oregon Trail, but we make it like a fantasy RPG, and everybody will still die of dysentery." <laughs> Yeah, that one was uh apparently what what the deal with Arcania 3 was it was supposed to be a small side game that they put out as a budget release between like the major projects but uh I guess it was Sir, it was Sir Tech, right? They they really insisted that the game be released as a full price thing even though the de the developers didn't want that 
It was supposed to be like, oh, this is in between games, right? You're just in the city. But Sir Tex, like, no, you you put this game out for like seventy dollars, and then nobody bought it, and then that was it. That was the last of their Realms of Arcania games. Uh, it's a full-on dungeon crawler. There is actually really no uh, overworld map. Uh, the overworld is just kind of like pre-rendered mist-style wandering, and then it's just all dungeons. The whole game is just dungeons. There's there's nothing in between. There's there's no towns. There's no overworld. It's just you solve you solve a dungeon. You go to the next one. See you later, Wolf. Thank you for watching. Yukon <laughs> Trail, yeah. Okay. I'm having I'm having fatigue problems with my character. There was another dude behind him. Alright. Yep. Losing five agility and five strength. I gotta I gotta rest up. I'm having a lot of problems here. I guess I'll heal. So weak from exertion. All my strength is gone. I feel less tired. Am I still weak from exertion? Yes. Here's the game telling me how dare you fight enemies? Now you have to now you have to sit here until all your strength comes back. Yeah, this is really good. I'm I don't understand why they would why they thought this was a good idea. Like, oh, we're going to fill this dungeon with a billion enemies, but if you fight them, you get tired and all your strength goes away. <laughs> like, why? All right. For many years, the Earth has been protected from incoming meteors by space network. Uh, hey, Retro Robino, how's it going? That sounds like that sounds like so many games that were made in that era. Spellot. Like that is. Almost literally the pl the plot of Mabus, which is a terrible game. All right, am I all rested up? I'm all rested up. Almost. One more. There we go. I now feel less tired, so let's save. I can also open this now. Doesn't fit. Must be the wrong key. Oh, it's the wrong key. 
Okay, let's find a different door then. Also, there's an enemy down here. I don't even know where he came from. I think he came up from here. Let's go kill him. No, I did not mean to do that. All right. Okay, so let's. I never went in here, so let's actually see what's in here. A cold sort of torture. A cold sort of torture. All right, I don't think we can do anything about that guy yet. We'll come back to that. We'll free him later. I'm sure there's like some sort of fire spell or something I can use on him. Cycle through the jungles. <laughs> Wait, Needlag just Needlag just promoting his channel on my channel. What the, what the hell? <laughs> no, it's it's fine. Everybody go follow Needlag. All right. Well, this looks lame. I think maybe I can use this, and it'll probably make the spikes go away. Nope. But it did open this. Yield before you die, dog. I keep. I keep running out of mana because I keep accidentally t casting this. It costs 380... I, I used 384 mana on this. Uh, the This spell creates a wall of rolling green-blue gas, which drains life from any creature standing in its path, transferring that life back to its spellcaster. That's a really cool spell, but... I, I didn't want to waste 384 mana casting it accidentally. Nice. Hello, all 69 viewers. How's it going? Yeah, that never. I haven't seen a stream boost since the beginning of March. I don't even know if it's a thing anymore. Maybe they just decided never to never to do it because uh, they said I was in the stream boost test and then I got like two or three of them and then they stopped doing it. I think other people have said that they they haven't seen it. They haven't seen it either. Maybe it's just it was just canceled for some reason. Maybe they're reworking it. I, I, yeah, they, I mean, they didn't, they never, they just have never mentioned it again. Like, it's just not a thing. I, yeah, I guess so. I mean, everybody, every guy, Everybody got boosted, so nobody needed to be boosted anymore. Right, let's use these. Alright, um, how am I 
Yeah, I got a weapon level. <laughs> yeah, I'm fighting some orcs. I... I missed what he said. He, he said, I'm going to split your skull for real. Which seems rude. Waste and rot. I'll take you down. Ah. Okay, I got to... I, I did too much combat in this game with combat, so now I have to... Yeah, for realsies. I did too much combat in this game that has combat in it, so now I have to wait for... Now I have to wait for my strength to come back. Oh hey, these guys. My my buddies from the first dungeon who keep showing up who keep showing up in the game. Hey, I'll take that. Show some spirit. Let it be a true fight. Alright. Well, I feel less tired, so let's fight this wolf guy. This wolf orc. This is like the uh, this is like the other side. There's probably like a million pressure plates and little little rooms with these guys. Who are? It, it is comical that they're making me fight these guys. It kind of does. It's got uh, a lot of the same, a lot of the same, uh, like, decorations. Drop your guard, I promise a quick death. Alright, some healing. Show some spirit! <laughs> Yeah, I think he's saying waste and rot. <laughs> Where's the rock? I'll take you down. Yeah, they might. I mean, if if they were as strong as they were in the first dungeon, I'd be killing them in like one hit. <laughs> Uh, apparently he's gonna run for president. Show some spirit. Yeah. It'll be a true fight. Yeah. Oh god. Oh no, I don't like this. Yeah, yeah come get me. Yeah. 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 Just, just get him. Just get him. There's a surprising lack of 
like treasure in in this dungeon. Yeah, you probably won't end up doing that, but all right, I got I gotta wait again. I guess I could I could do a healing. All right, good heal. You feel less tired. Great. Now I'm going to attack an enemy one time, and it's going to say, "Hey, you're swinging your sword too much in this video game where you have where we have combat. Stop doing that." Do not tremble. I have no pity for cowards. Yeah, copy magic. Drop your guard, <laughs> what, Dead death. Bart? That is, that is a really fancy treasure chest. I like that. Yeah, my character. I have no pity for cowards. I have. I need. Uh, my character needs coffee. Yeah, it's it's really that that same kind of mechanic. Oh well. How am I liking this game, Anwa? Also, welcome, Anwa. I'm doing. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. This game's really great. Uh, and we're making ex excellent progress. We're in one of the optional dungeons right now. I could have either gone through the Reed Plane or this dungeon, and I made the terrible mistake of doing this dungeon. I've made a, a horrible blunder trying to do Gorge Keep. If you ever, if you ever play this game, go through the Reed Plane. Oh, it is. Before you die, dog. Okay, I think this is the last dude over here. Actually, this seems like a dead end. I think that this might just be it. There might be one room. We have to fight a, a room full of a full of these guys again. Show some spirit. And that is, uh, yeah, that is this side of the dungeon. Wait, oh, there's a treasure over here. I got the glowing ember. Let's go use that on the guy who's in the ice and talk to him. We also have this area. And I got a key, which probably opens that. Oh, where'd this guy come from? Did the are the enemies in this respawning or what? I have considered letting it be a true fight and showing some spirit. Alright, no idea where that guy came from. I think there might be there might be a uh, enemy respawns in this. Uh, but let's use the glowing ember on the ice dude. How do I do it? 
Do I have to like put it in my hand? Hmm. What is what is the secret? Maybe it's a com I have to combine it with something. Also, that is a that is a sound effect from Dungeon Master. That is a Dungeon Master sound effect right there. Oh, you just kind of hold it over it. You don't click or anything. You just you just hold it over the ice. That's amazing. Hey, what's up? Can you hear me now? Are you alive? It's Could you finish cold. thawing me out of this now, before you talk to me? More heat! More glowing embers! Patience. I'll get you free. <sighs> you be patient! You know, get you, me out of here! You could, you know, try not to be rude, maybe. The Warlord's men did this to you? An old custom of theirs. Making an example of the Keep's commander. Soon I would have been no more than ice myself. Is it possible to cross the scar from here? <laughs> Another hero. Ice eh? to meet you. I've heard of the ladies. Who killed the dinosaurs? So the, the Ice Age. Still, I have no reason to stop you, and every reason to offer aid. For what you've done, the reward I hey, chill out. Is small. Here, the crest of tempest. Hell this yeah, the crest the of tempest. Of Gorge Keep. The two gates there form a redoubt in case the main portcullis is breached. What good is this? There, in a room on the edge of the keep, you'll find a winch and chain. Take it to the main portcullis of Gorge Keep. And raise the gate. No, no, obvious bark. He was frozen. He was frozen in the block of ice. Desolation. Yes, hero. If yes, hero. That's the way. Hey, thanks. Oh, goodbye. Whatever fate awaits me, it grows impatient. Mine also. A brief rest, and I'm off to join the forces of Tempest. Good luck to you, hero. I'll not soon forget you! No, it's just a poorly, poorly drawn mouth. No, he wasn't, no, he was frozen in nice. He wasn't, yeah, I, they, they had trouble drawing his mouth for some reason. Uh, I did get a key, so I'm going to go open the door up here. All right, save the game. Oh, what do we got? The wooden crank shaft. And Bane's boiling blood. By means of Bane's boiling blood, the blood of the target begins to boil, delivering terrible damage to the unfortunate creature under attack. Some of the creatures of Tempest have developed a natural resistance to this dangerous magic. I am, yeah, I mean, that's obvious, obviously. Okay, I think I I think I got it. 
I think that that probably yeah that probably opened opened the gate. So what do these do? These probably turn off the traps in the middle. The spikes are probably gone now. Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what these are for. Maybe you have to like operate them in a specific order. Yep, no idea. Well, whatever those are, I just turned them off. If you were supposed to be able to disable these spikes, I don't know, I don't know how you do that, or if you even can. I'm just gonna end up taking a ton of damage here. Like, look at this stupid spike hallway. Sure, there's like a switch here that maybe turns off the spikes. Oh god. Yeah, let's let's just heal. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna end up using all of these because they don't really heal very much anymore. I've got too many hit points. Really, you got to use magic to heal now. I mean, it would make this game a whole... Oh, shit. Yeah. It would make this game a whole lot easier to play. Yeah, there's, there's no quality of life in this game. Just fighting a, a billion of these these reed hat ninjas. Okay then. Uh, more healing. I guess I'll just use it. Uh, just in case you dropped one of these hats somewhere and you wanted to read this. All right. What else? There's there's like a pile of stuff here. Okay, more healing. Uh, can't read that. I guess I'll put on the hat, then I'll do it. Uh, Gorge Keep must be fortified and held against the enemy at all costs. All losses are acceptable. If Gorge Keep is lost, the commanders of my army shall be executed at random and replaced by any officers with the initiative to stop the assault across the Scar, retake a Gorge Keep. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. Uh, everybody's dead. <laughs> it's everybody's dead. Yeah, they didn't... <laughs> they didn't call him Plane Zero. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, we're done here. And I think I'm gonna put some more in, oh, I've maxed out on slashing. I can't put any more points in. I'm, I, it, I'm too good. I'm too good at slashing. So let's put thrusting in.